What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fisherman Norby. We're sitting here in a little pond today. We broke out the fly rod. You guys have been requesting some fly rod videos. So, we're gonna make it happen today. We're going after big old bluegill, some panfish with the fly rod, and we're using a little homemade nymph fly right there. Some of you guys might have seen this I actually tied this fly last year this is a scout fly it's got some of my dog's fur in it that's a cool video uh, go check it out if you haven't but we're using a scout fly it's weighted i also have a little tiny split shot on there and we're going to be casting around the edge of this grass and try and find where these bluegill are hanging out there's a tree with some shade over here i'm thinking it's going to be some over there we got some isolated grass out there a little bit and I can see some underwater. So we're gonna be trying to target the edges of these grass with this little fly. It's a really good way to put some panfish uh, in the boat or on the land if you're fishing from the bank like me. But I'm excited. There's nothing better than catching these little panfish on a fly rod. They fight so hard. If a, if a bluegill got as big as a bass would, it would outfight a bass any day. So we're gonna have some fun today. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not, let's catch some fish. There's one. We're hooked up, guys. Cast a little fighter. <laughs> Tiny, but he fights hard. A little bluegill. That is a baby. We're looking for the monsters. Get back out there. Caught on a weed, tangles you all up. There's one baby, but we'll take him. Oh, my goodness! So tiny. I didn't even know they were this tiny in the pond. Guess they gotta reproduce. That is a baby. Normally they're all big the ones we catch out of here. Normally tiny ones get eaten by bass. Oh my goodness, no way. This is the smallest bluegill I've ever caught out of this pond. <laughs> it's the day for little ones, I guess. They're right up in that edge. We're gonna try over here in the shade. There's one. Now that is a fighter right there. That's what we're after. Sitting up in the shade. Ooh, we got something big here, guys. I don't know what it is. It's a good one though. Ooh, my goodness. Wow. That is an absolute stud of a bluegill. <sighs> now that is what we're after. My goodness bigger than my hand look at that 
on the scout fly this thing's probably 10 10 inches long or so as a giant bluegill my goodness that's definitely what we're after that is hard to beat they've been feeding on these little minnows this little fly looks just like a little minnow you can lift that bluegill without a problem giant absolute giant all right we're gonna release him see you buddy Woo, there he goes that's awesome that's so cool guys i get pumped up for big ends like that i don't care if it's a bass bluegill crappie you catch a big one of any species it pumps you up it's what you're after that's a giant that's what we're after today that guy would have tasted pretty good if we'd have flayed him up we're catching releasing all all of our fish today they fight so hard on this fly rod Woo. that was awesome guys that was a giant bluegill we're gonna get back out there catch some more i believe that was a shell cracker he uh was very faint colored you couldn't really see the red on his gill too well but he did have some and there's some big old shell cracker in this pond too so we're gonna get back out here see if we can get on a few more biggins when you go to set the hook on these fish with your fly rod you don't want to just set it to the side or straight up in the air you want to cast you want to make a full-on cast and that way if they don't have it all the way you don't get hooked on all the weeds and stuff on the ground if you guys aren't familiar with fly fishing you want to just make another cast when you set that hook you'll hook them if they're on there there's one same spot little better than those first two I think but nothing like that last one nope just a little guy that's crazy way small <laughs> crazy you can catch the big ones right next to all the little ones they're all hanging out together down there there's one Woo. big and big and that is what we're after my goodness that's so fun just biggins what a nice one not as big as that last one but it's definitely a good one Ooh, feisty that's a red ear shell cracker i think that last one was too he just wasn't as bright as this one look at that so pretty just a gorgeous fish right there all yellow that's amazing Okay, two good ones. Gonna get a few more. See, you, buddy. There's one, guys. Another one. Another baby. Just a little dude. All right. They're munching the fly still. Got a little moss on there. You gotta make sure you get all that off. You're not gonna catch one. Throw it back out with moss on it. That was fun. Caught a few more after those, but none of the giants like I was hoping for, except for that one. There's a bunch of them in there. The birds have actually been swooping down out of the air, eating the bluegill out of this pond. I was watching them as I was fishing. Osprey are coming down, they're hovering, and they see one and they dive bomb it. There's so many in this pond. It's a, a great little pond to fish. Little shallow ponds have a ton of panfish and bluegill, but this little fly right here, see if they'll focus on it, that is what was doing it. It's got a 
little silver flake in it and it's just kind of white like scouts fur I put a little black in it too just looks like the tiny little minnows swimming around in that pond and they munch it they're just doing a slow strip and fly rod fishing is a great way to load up have some big fights with panfish take some home cook up some fish it's a blast so Hope you enjoyed. We're going to get back out fishing here soon, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.